Our first speaker today is the Venerable Hei Chan, who's the manager of the international section of the Han Maom Sun Wan Center, this sort of a, the one heart uh, Zen Center in Korea, in the Republic of Korea. Um, she will be our first speaker, and then the second speaker will be the Venerable Hei Yu, who is the research director of the Han Maom Academy in Germany. And our third speaker, will be Professor Che Young Kim of Sogang University in the Republic of Korea. My name is Hye Chan. And I get to know the past of the uh, text of the Buddhism by our um, the Son Taehyung. And I come to this place with the opportunity that the spirit of my big master, the Son. Before I get to the, uh, the spirit of the Son Daehyung, and I'd like to mention a little bit about um, the, the Master Son. The, the year 1927, the time that the under the Japanese ruled, and at the point that the years that um, the, the master son has been get through all of those uh, poverty and the situations of the war that have been changed to the witness of some of those the war in Korea. And then including the 10 years of the living rope in the mountain the master son is able to help the many people in the every kind of problem. And that also gives us the opportunity to recognize that most people the suffer because they were they were not being able to understand and recognize their inner inherent Buddha nature. That is their inner connection, the great energy, ability, the wisdom and universe has a proposal to having the leader people to, to knowing the the true nature the open the center in the year 72 and that has been going through more than 40 years now that has a that has the beside the major major is in the end in the Buddhist Regardless of the nature of the uh, the man and woman, that she was being able to touch the gender, uh, regardless of gender, religion, or the, the background. That she had a lot, the spend of most of the people, those who are in the knees, and uplifting their hands. Taehyung Sonsa, the center. The master son has been chance to achieve the highest highest in the nature, but as the the spirit has been the the maintaining in the nowadays. The center has been the the headquarter in the Andong in Korea, and the Germany, United States, Canada, Argentina, Thailand. We have a, a, a overseas a branch out there. And we had a chance to knowing about all of those um, apprenticeship in all of the world. We, we don't see it in here, but the spirit that has been chance to realize through the one mind that has been 
the sansa, the meaning in, in the Buddhism that has given us a practical opportunity in our lives, then all of those actions have come from the ourself, individual self. The Buddhism the has been the, has been taught to realize that the, the the application needs to be altered based upon the nowadays. The modernization of the Buddhism that gave us and has been awarded then um, had a chance to the record um, the the Sanpyongga in the and he, she realized that has been uh, the cre uh, create the uh, the choir uh, due to the fact that the re realize understand of the uh, the unity the via the, the music that has been taught that we'll be able to will be able to lead ourselves and that with that and the sampop side has been established it and the Thomas song has been given us a true, truly think about self as yourself, as it, the people sing in this song over and over, the sound, the way to reach the ideas who sing, who will listen, and a whole interconnected universe brightening the mind of all. Tensongsa is a main theme that has been given us a fundamental energy of our lives and in her communication and connection with each other. That gave us, the Buddhism gave us opportunity, opportunity to reinstate um, our mind has been circulated so that the every creature has been the equal. That's Hon San explained the explained with the two word the pull meaning that the fundamental energy the Q the meaning that in, in inherent communication connected each other that meaning that we all being the in the universe in the lives we live in together our individual lives also is a called the Gongseng. Sansan gave us, has taught us the practical opportunity to apply the teaching ourselves in our lives. The, the more than thousands of years has been used in the, the Buddhism translating in Korea so that they'll be able to understand apply, uh, applicable in, in their lives. That point that has been revolutionary portion that has been the, the published night concept to all the public. The, meaning, the, the major thoughts that give us a pre practice in the knowing that have an invisible foundation inside ourselves, like a knowing that the tree has its root. The providing all those uh, blueprint to those who live in the busy life in, in nowadays, they have a f practice of faith in their foundation and trust it with the what is uh, uh, in front of us. That has been the revolutionary one that all of those who believe in the, the Sanhang the Buddhism. In the 1996, Hammam Science Institute has been opened their door that focus on the, the research and various field based on the principle all phenomena rise in a fundamental essential Hammam Institute that ha the has been founded in the same thought and it has been to contribute to humility and its evolution. 
1999, Hamam International Institute has been published the, their book in the 12 different languages. It has been following on it, English, German, Spanish, French, Chinese, Japanese, in other languages, it has been published the 12. In Korea, we have published more than 30 volumes of collected works, and now that works has been maintained in our days. That the book has been awarded with the 2021 IF Design. Has been served with the help of the spirit of those in the diet, that including with the, those who ha, those who has been that, that has been that died um, under the Nazi um, and Auschwitz um, the prison. And that we has been opened the ceremony to those who died in the three places of Germany. The local media also the published that that has been broadcast this uh, this great the event, and they described that uh, the the rain has been came from the heaven. Now, uh, now I haven't uh, explained about the main main thought about the Tehung. Now we would like to the, watch the media. Hope that you have enjoyed the video clip that I have for you. And here, there are a lot of different diversity of the religions and denominations. They have thought that religion is a thought that they do the name by the meaning according to the, their circumstance and geographic location. Fundamentally, there's still open one family. Religion ought to be not just something to fight over. That has mentioned they don't say that particular religion is the only way. Instead, if you correctly understand the teachings of your religion and put them into the practice, that you become humble. You will be realized that you and I and the world, and you and the universe, and you and every single thing and one, when we are understanding the standing in front of the truth, argument about your religion and my religions are in the tribal. And now, all the living in on the earth has been equally created and and we are in the knees and the seeing this equalism about all all those uh, the living on the earth and the world has been the meaning that living all together kongshim and kongche that has been the meaning of the um, meaning of the, the main thoughts and our community, family, and individual will be able to practice the thoughts, bring that into the peace into the world. And now I'm encouraged to
발언합니다. Our individual the thought has been developed based on that. 죄송합니다. I I apologize. Thank you very much to listening my presentation. And lastly, and 손법, I would like to give the 손법 and the song alongside. 좀 되나요? 어디? 예. 땡큐. 다시 한번 감사드립니다. 감사합니다. Uh, they, uh, they were initially cons uh, constructed to enshrine the Buddha's relics. Since they were elected as a form of a veneration for the relics, they had the symbol significance representing faith in the Buddha. Furthermore, they serve as the visual embodiments of the Buddha's teachings. In other words, pagodas could symbol symbolize freedom, equality, peace, and harmony. The pagodas you see here were built in the 18th century. On the left is a Dabota pagoda, or the pagoda of many treasures. On the right is a Sakata pagoda on the Sakamuni Buddha pagoda. They stand facing each other in front of the main hall of a Bulguksa temple. These two pagodas are unique for two things, their names and their architecture. In the past, it was a layer for a pagoda to be given its name at the time of building. Also, it was unusual to place two pagodas symmetrically. Their names are distinctive looks are derived from the story in the Lotus Sutra. It is said that whenever the Lotus Sutra was taught by Skamuni Buddha, the Dava Pagoda manifested itself in front of him. It was the Buddha of many treasures who appeared in a form of pagoda to attest to the validity of the Skamuni Buddha's teachings. Based on the Lotus Sutra, to pag uh, the two pagodas are a symbolic expression of Buddhist doctrine that sentient beings may realize the true and attain enlightened liberation through spiritual cultivation guided by the Buddha of many treasures. The fact that they reenact the subjects of the sutra outwardly through their architecture is what makes them unique. 
just like the two historical pagodas, Gujangta Pagoda and the Tantris Pagoda at the Hammam Sun Center stand out amongst others, including their designs. To explain the meanings behind their spherical designs, it's needed to see where they are located. This provides an overall view of Hammam Sun Center. The building you see on the right is the Dharma Hall with the seven treasures of pagoda placed above it. It's a rare in Buddhist structure, uh, structures to find a pagoda placed on the top of a Dharma Hall or a building because it typically exists independently. And unlike the seven treasures of pagoda, the wider Kujangta pagoda is located independently in the temple courtyard. The Seven Treasures Pagoda was built in 1999 and the Gujangta Pagoda was built in 2002. The Seven Treasures Pagoda is made up of seven spheres that represent the Big Dipper, which is said to play an important role in human evolution and the rebirth on Earth. This Golden Pagoda is meant to be connected to the entire universe through the Big Dipper, symbolizing birth and life. Because of this, Seven Treasures Pagoda is also known as the Cosmic Pagoda. In contrast to the Seven Treasures Pagoda, the Gujangta Pagoda is the cult in the courtyard by the Dharma Hall building. The, da the Pagoda represents the collective will of all sentient beings to reach Buddha's land or the pure lamb that could be reached by attaining spiritual freedom. Gujangta Pagoda's other name is Doryang Pagoda. Doryang means a place for spiritual learning or literally the site of enlightenment. The Pagoda is made of over five different colored stones from different countries. The four colors, except white stones, symbolize the four ele elements, earth, water, fire and the air. The white spherical stones symbolize that the foundation of the four elements are, are also the foundation of mind and the universe. Sun Master Deheng said, all realms and the all universe are connected through the same fundamental mind. Ultimately, everything and everyone in the universe is living together harmoniously, sharing the same root. Some Master Dehang said that all things in the universe are composed of earth, fire, water, and air, interconnected and functioning as one through the fundamental mind. The arrangement of five colorful stones from different countries into a pagoda emphasizes this interconnectedness as well as a peace and coexistence of the world. Each side of Gujangta Pagoda has a spherical meaning. It symbolizes the principle of the uh, universe where everything functions together as one, with all beings sharing the same life, the same mind, the same body, working together as one, freely giving and receiving whatever is needed. The core idea of some mass Dehang is that all things in the universe is interconnected based on the five interconnected interconnected mysteries, namely Gongsing, interconnected life, Gongjim, interconnected mind, Gongyong, interconnected functioning, Gongje, interconnected body, and Gongsik, interconnected eating. They represent how all things work together at, and the middle way in the Buddhism, not attached to either suffering or happiness. Some master they have viewed the human body as the community of many lives sharing the same body. Looking at the puddle, the earth is also a mani manifestation of the interconnected body in which all living things coexist. Moreover, because all lives are equal, equal and interconnected, they are sharing the same life. Since all minds are not separated from the Buddha's mind, all beings share the same mind. All phenomena arise from one mind, so they have interconnected functioning. Lastly, 
the, the entire universe is living together by nature. Therefore, from a large perspective, there is nothing that is not yourself, nothing that is not your pain, nothing that is not your parent, your child, or your sibling, The earth and all of the creation, including the smallest life forms, are interconnected through one mind. This passage is part of some Master Dehang's translation of the Hot Sutra that describes the essence of the Buddhist idea of emptiness. Through a shared life, shared mind, shared body, and the interconnectednesses of all lives and all phenomena, the universe functions equally. According to Master Deheng, however, due to the lack of understanding of the five interconnectednesses of the world, the pre, um, predominant of the world are discrimination, inequality, and the exclusion of others within the constant, constant cycle of life and the death. She explains the meaning of absolute equality, freedom, and coexistence through the five universe interconnectedness. They emphasize the value of a community and illust illustrate that we are cosmic beings, the ex extended self that is un united with everything beyond an individual self. The five interconnectedness are not only illustrated in the Kujang Ta Pagoda, but also in the Seven Treasures Pagoda. Some Master Deng explained that both pagodas were constructed to represent the attainment of the great freedom for all Shengsen beings. Thus, People who visit the Sun Center works in circle around the Kujangta Pagoda in hopes to awaken to the upright, inherent mind that each one of us has. Consequently, the Kujangta Pagoda and the Seven Trees Pagoda were built to enlighten people to become free and practice the path of coexist. Through such spiritual cultivation, regardless of religion, we will be able to use the infinite ability ability of a mind, the through energy of all. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for you all coming for this session. Uh, it is very honor for the BYU uh, symposium organizers to be invited for these wonderful uh, occasions. Okay, today I will uh, talk uh, very hard issues uh, uh, in Korea. And not only in Korea, I think in general, that's why the British up and those other organizers, they seem to uh, think that you know, we have to talk more about the human dignity between, beyond the human rights uh, matters. So whenever we talk about the human rights matters, that means quite to the restricted, uh, some sort of uh, you know, victim or victimized. You know, this kind of general ethos seems to be emerging in our consciousness. So I, I really want to break through uh, the kind of uh, dualistic you know, perspective. But when we uh, talk more about uh, the uh, OK. So uh, I want to talk about the human unity and rights under the milieu of complexity between uh, religion and state in Korea, then revisit to, to religion as the key source of human dignity right, and rights in Korea. Proportional matter of government perception of religions in contemporary uh, Korea. Then content. But uh, don't think that I will talk much about these old things, but I will very summarize, OK? So first one is religion and human dignity issues in modern Korea. Then second one, religions in the Korean constitution and its inter interpretation. Third one, uh, critical issues on six recognized religions. I'm very tackling so-called the six recognized categories in the Ministry of Religion and Sports and Tourism, Korea. So it has been the transmitted for general public as and those uh, six religions has been the key sources for the value of the human life and also especially human dignity issues in public sector. But I really want to break through uh, more than that. 
then exclusions of religious minorities and the contemporary formation of historical cultural biases in modern Korea. Okay. Actually, uh, many of uh, the papers, uh, they say that the Christian missionaries has been the key precursor for the discourses of human rights issues in Korea, but also uh, they do not forget actually the native uh, religious movement, okay, so-called the uh, left side, I think your side, I think, uh, I think right side, Che Jeu and the Eastern Line. This is very, very important. And also this is one of the key uh, sources for native concern of human dignity uh, and also its relationship to uh, everyday life. So I want to uh, talk a little bit about it. So this is very, very fundamentally important. But the, generally, when they talk about human rights and human dignity, they usually concern about Christian missionaries. By the way, do not assume that I am Buddhist, okay? I am a Protestant, okay? So. <laughs> Okay, so the second one, religion in the Korean constitution and each interpretation, you all know that, okay? So Korean you know, constitution has been also formed by the uh, you know, American you know, uh, constitution way. So I, I will skip this one. You all know that all social enjoy freedom of religion. We are repeating so many things, okay? Then the interpretive relation between Christian churches and uh, Buddhist and political authorities in contemporary uh, Korea, Christians in the Lee and Moon uh, uh, administration, President Moon, former government, okay? Then the uh, article two, no state religion shall be recognized and religion and state shall be separate. This is also a big uh, uh, issue, say, in Korea. Uh, we don't have any state religion, okay? But this is my critical point. Okay, critical issues on six recognized religions in the Ministry of Religion, Sports, Tourism in Korean government. So-called Korean government recognized religions, Buddhism, Confucianism, Catholicism, Protestant, Chondoism, one Buddhism, folk religions. Okay, so this is very, very problematic. Uh, and also it is quite against uh, the constitution, you know, all religions should be respected. So, uh, so small minority groups are all excluded. Okay, that's, that's why those minority groups, they are struggling where they fit in. But whenever the public, you know, the arena, talking about the human dignity or interreligious dialogue, uh, discourses, usually these six groups has been invited. Apart from these uh, six groups, many, many small minority groups, they have been excluded. Then the, the cultural biases concerned about uh, religious matter from the side of uh, public sector has been accumulated. Oh, these six religions are recognized. That means good religions. The other religions, they are failure. This kind of you know, dualistic you know, perception has been growing. That's why the, I am advocating sometimes evil uh, in the public discourses, okay? So I, whenever I talk, I say that I'm Protestant, Presbyterian, four generations, but also in my university, I am advisor to the Buddhist group because I'm teaching in the Jesuit university, but the no Jesuit father, you know, eager to you know, be named as the student advisor. That's why student, Buddhist students came to me, well, why don't you, you know, do something? So intentionally, I accepted it, okay? So then, critical issues again. So, you know, whenever the government officer, this is a former president, President Moon Jae-in, these groups, so-called the six, you know, groups, okay? One Buddhism and the Chondoism. Some groups are very small, comparing to other, you know, religious, you know, uh, traditions, but they happen to be, luckily, recognized in the six groups. So they are enjoying. Okay, so this is big issues. Then exclusions of religious minority. Then the social, you know, taboo of those uh, minority groups. Then they are very, very intentionally, you know, giving, you know, the uh, difficulties, especially so-called the new religious movement during the COVID period. Then the, the you know the government officers, 
they are uh, going there, then they let the religious leader, new religious movement the leader, right side, okay? So he just kneeled down to the public. So I was very angry. You know, how can the democratic society recognize freedom of religion? Then how they, in a, such a in a small group, leader come out then saying, sorry. Okay? Then the left side, his extreme, uh, the right wing, a conservative, uh, the pastor, mega church pastor. Then also, you know, the nowadays, Christian groups, they are generalized. All oh, Christian groups are the, you know, the, the biased groups against other religions. But there's so many different in the versions of the Christian groups. So during the Moon Jae-in government, he was in the prison. So extreme right group, as well as the new religious movement group, they are excluded. So sometimes politically, that's why this morning, first sessions, you know, we, are, we should go beyond public you know, political you know, nuance of the religious freedom matter. Okay. So conclusion is this one. Mm -hmm. So you all have some ideas. So I am also seriously thinking about uh, uh, these issues, where we should go, Whenever we talk about the freedom of religion, human rights, you know, so many lip service words there, but real deliverance. How can we be open to each other? Okay, so I think a beauty, uh, Buddhism has beauty, as you saw the, my previous you know, speakers, interconnectedness. How can we be authentically you know, uh, connected, open our heart? So cultural bias, General cultural bias is really problematic issues. Okay, so uh, I think in Korea, this six uh, recognized religion category has been really big issues for you know religions to be more included and those concerning about human dignity uh, issues. In that sense, I think the uh, Han Maum uh, Sun Center Taehyung, I think she has suggested another you know alternative in the model for us to think. Thank you very much for your attention. We'd like to thank our three presenters. We have about five minutes, according to my watch, not the room clock, uh, for questions uh, for the presenters. Yes. Thank you. Dr. Kim, for religions that do not fit within the six recognized categories that you showed us, can you just restate or summarize what are the primary disadvantages? What, what benefits are they not able to avail themselves up, of in Korea if they're not in those categories? Thank you. Okay, can you hear me? Okay. You know, the, if you, your religion belong to the six category recognized one, they get some good fund for the renovation of the building and also for the support of the festivity. Okay, Buddhism festivals, Christian, you know, Christmas Day. Minority groups, it's uh, very difficult. And also, publicly, it is continuously disgraced. Okay, publicly, oh, this is not uh, belonging to the six category religions. That means, okay, you are sort of cult or unrecognized things. So this category has been accumulated in contemporary you know, society. So I really want to break through it, okay? So I and you know, my colleagues okay, in another university, we are suggesting to the government, okay, this category should be reconsidered or we should create another category for other groups to be in, including the secular you know, humanist you know, groups. So those you know, six category groups, they are quite boastful. Okay? Oh, we are in the you know, so-called six recognized religions. So they are selling. Okay? So I, I think uh, it's a real time for us to open in our heart, you know, to be welcoming to others. Actually, through the connections uh, to other religious groups, personally, 
my faith is more growing as a Protestant. Okay? So I think if we meet genuinely, I think something sparked for the recognition of the human dignity, really, beyond so-called the political nuance of the human rights issues. Yeah. Good morning, Dr. Kim. Thank you for the presentation. My name is Mac from the South Pacific Cook Islands. Uh, two, uh, I suppose, not registered uh, church, which is the Good News Church and the Grace Church, uh, moving fast in the Pacific Island, using prime ministers and ministers to uh, progress their um, transformation or transition within the Pacific. Uh, what are your thoughts about these two religions? The Grace Church has been uh, labeled as a cult uh, movement where the leader was uh, imprisoned mm. and four of their missionaries in Fiji mm. were deported. I'm only raising this as a concern, Pacific mm. Island, mm. just to gauge your, your mm. views. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. That is an excellent you know, question. You know, that's why I'm thinking always in a new religious movement within you know, established religions. New religious movement separated from established religions. We have to recognize those things. Then also we have to have some kind of historical record Okay, how they are treating their religious groups. For example, if they want to, you know, the come out, exit, then some the you know the growing new religious movement, they do not want to let them go out freely. Okay, so that is the issue we have to you know apply, irrespective of established religion or non-established religions. So uh, according to my understanding, good news, you know, the uh, churches, I have uh, many cases, okay? Sometimes it is very difficult for those people who want to go out. Okay? I think that this issue we have to be tackled, okay? So why, so concerning about the good news, uh, you know, the uh, cases, they are, you know, spreading in India also too. Okay, other places. So all the times, I think big issues is about free, you know, the determination, free the decision. So it should be respected. But the, that issue is not seriously concerned among good news people. I have several cases. Okay, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm wondering whether that is helpful for you or not. Of course you can say, but the, I do not want to say more, <laughs> okay? <laughs> All right, looks like we've used our time. We'd like to thank the presenters and those who've asked questions for their participation. Yeah. And we give them a round of applause.